Thank you. Thank you. I, um, I've been trying to think of something, some physics formula to use now. <laughs> this is the one I came up with. And you, scientists in the audience can tell me how I'm doing with this. A natural vacuum totally sucks. <laughs> no? Nothing? OK. Um, that was pretty, that was pretty bad. Um, I, have one, I got one of these cool new illusionist.com card decks. Uh, some people use different types of card decks. I use, I like red back bicycle decks. So with these, sometimes some of the suits get stuck inside. I don't know if it's a, a spade or a, no, it's a diamond. <laughs> diamond got stuck in there. Sometimes that happens with these, these new card decks. Um, I'd like to have a, a couple of assistants help me out. And would you come up and help me out with some tricks? And sir, would you join me? You're, oh, so, uh, who else would like to help me out? Would you, sir? Please, I'm right on over. Yes. Now, I'm going to, uh, I like to have you select a card, and I'm going to try to divine what the card is. It's good to always give away the entire trick before you do it, I find. Um, I'm just going to go through the edge of the deck, just like this, and say stop whenever you'd like me to stop. Stop. Stop, right there, that looks good to you. Go ahead and take the card, don't show me. Show everyone else. You can show the cameras. I should probably be looking at the screen at this point. But OK, have you hidden it? No, you haven't hidden it. I saw the back. It is a red-backed card. Is that, does that help? OK. Um, hide it down. Put it between your hands so that there's no way that I can see the card. But by looking into your eyes, I'm going to try to divine what card you're thinking of. So just think of your card. Did you get to see it? Yes. No, don't tell me. Um, King of Diamonds. No. Nope, no, it wasn't. Okay, don't wait, wait, wait. Queen of Diamonds? No. No, okay. Here we give me one more. This is embarrassing. Eight of Clubs. No. No, okay. So hold on to it. <laughs> we'll get back to that in a later. See, um, maybe by the end of the show I'll get this. Um, please, everyone, ignore that. That trick, but hold on to it. We'll, we'll see how we do. Um, a little bit of, of card parlance, if you will. Uh, these are called pips. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Uh, the the five of diamonds has five diamonds on it. Each diamond is called a pip. It's printed on there uh, with the the same red ink that they use for the back printing. Uh, would you put your hand down on the table for me, please? I'm going to have you hold that. Now just keep that. Keep, uh, put your hand down flat because I want to, what I want to do is warm that up a little bit. OK, do you feel it warming up? No. <laughs> then this might not work at all. Um, the thing is, the, uh, the ink is, is fairly unstable. If, if, I, if I rub it there, the, it's, the ink has been heating up with the, just the heat from the palm of your hand. If I rub it in the middle, that middle pip should loosen. And if I give it a snap right in the middle, <laughs> that center red diamond pops right off and turns the card into a four. So there's the center red diamond there. Was your card was it the six of spades? No. Really? Yeah. Okay. Seven of spades. Eight of spades. Nine of spades. No. Any spade? No. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we'll get back to that hopefully in a little bit. Um, since I can't obviously figure out her card yet, would you pick a card for me? I, again, I'm going to go through the deck like this and just say stop whenever you like. Stop. OK, go ahead and take that card. Show it around. Don't let me see it. Don't let anyone see it. OK, show the cameras, but don't show me. OK, cameras, have you seen it? OK, you're going to fail if you don't say yes. <laughs> no, that's not true. Um, everyone got a chance to see the card? OK, I'm going to show you another way to define, divine a card. Uh, go ahead, put it right back there in the deck. Now, did you see what I just did there? When I did that, I actually marked the card. Um, I put a little blue mark on the back of the card. You probably couldn't see it because it is, uh, it, it's a, a small mark. But if I go through the deck, you see that there's a blue mark, a little blue mark on this one card. 
Can you see that? It's subtle, I know. Uh, but, but I did mark that card of yours with a blue marking. Now, I'll get back to your card in a moment. I can't, can't think of it right now. But what was your card? The six of hearts. See, some people don't believe me, but yeah, the six of hearts. The six of hearts was that card. Now, um, I like to use this again sometimes, so what I need to do is just flick the corner. Okay. And I can kind of pull at that marking on the back of the card. And that blue marking will just come totally off. And then, of course, the card is red back again, and I can use that another time. Thank you. That's, that's just about it. Um, I don't know, how many, how many card people do we have in the audience? Oh, you're a card person. Um, just one word of warning. If you're going to use a blue silk to divine the card, be careful, because when it goes through the deck, sometimes they can catch the rough edges of blue diamonds that are in the deck. And that is the end of my very short show. I think, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I never did divide your card, did I? All that I have left to guess is three diamonds that are up here. What was your card? It was the three of diamonds. Thank you very much.